Hello everyone, I am Sirisha. Welcome to my channel. Today I will discuss about dishwasher usage and my experience with it. The one I purchased is ISB Neptune SX1. It is a 15 places dishwasher. It has 45 dB noise. Uh, noise. Um, this is the lowest noise um, uh, for the dishwasher and then um, um, it takes um, about 9 liters of water for every usage and it is A++ that means it, it, uh, uh, it consumes the electricity very less. Uh, also, uh, this, uh, it has uh, several programs um, which will be like uh, uh, for 30 minutes wash is there and uh, 50 to 60, uh, 60 degrees wash is there um, and then uh, 50 to 65 degrees wash is there and then crockery only crockery wash is there and um, this is only thali and uh, mixed last the last one is mixed one uh, usually I use the mixer one because um, uh, I mix all the utensils and uh, I will keep everything in one wash and also uh, it has uh, uh, options for half load or uh, full load uh, as you can see there are two um, uh, two images one is the down one and the one is the up one whichever you want to use if there is not uh, if both or nothing is showing that means it is full load and if you are using tablet you can uh, uh, go for the tablet option um, also there is timer delay and uh, extra hygiene and uh, extra rinse is there now i will show you inside the uh, dishwasher how it will be and what are the things that we need to put in uh, as you can see uh, minus 15 places dishwasher so i will get three racks um, one is big thali, another one is small utensils one, another one is cutlery, cutlery item. So here you can keep all the um, big big thali and uh, big utensils, whatever it is there, you can keep. And uh, this this is the these are the fans that will uh, flow, uh, that will uh, sprinkle the water with um, it will sprinkle the water very heavily. Mm, and also um, here this is the salt one. Uh, for dishwashers, um, we, uh, we have uh, three, deter uh, three items to keep. One is detergent, and uh, second one is rinse aid, and third one is salt. Salt is to keep uh, to soften the um, water. Basically, uh, in Bangalore, we have the uh, salt water uh, usage. So, um, to soften that water, um, we have to keep the salt. How much we need to keep? It is like uh, uh, it depends on your usage. For me, it is like uh, every one month uh, I have to keep the salt. And also, this is the drain filter. Um, every um, 15 days or one month, we have to clean this uh, uh, this filter. And these are the dryers, um, um, which will the steam will come uh, to dry the utensils. The, this one and there, there is also there is one more. So um, water flow will come uh, here and here and then uh, here uh, uh, in the middle there is one knob. There also the uh, water flow will come. And also here we have to here we have to keep the rinse side and uh, here you need to put the detergent. So. All the vessels you, you need to soak it um, before loading into a dishwasher. It is essential because um, uh, if uh, there is any dry item, a uh, dried vessel, uh, then um, uh, that uh, vessel will not be cleaned properly. So it is very uh, important that you need to soak the vessels into uh, in the sink before you load into load, load them into a dishwasher. Okay, and also there is one point that uh, this is a milk vessel. Okay, so um, this one you need to wash it before even uh, keeping it. So like this. Only milk vessel and rice um, rice vessels you need to clean little. Except that you don't have to clean um, anything, but you need to soak it properly. 
can see this is how you need to uh, load the vessels all um, all uh, vessels needs to be upside down okay uh, so if you uh, suppose if you do like this it will not be washed properly all the water will be filled in the, into this vessel so all the time you need to make sure that all your vessels are upside down this is the big thali as i told and this one is the small thali as you can see this uh, uh, glass is very uh, greasy because um, uh, it fell into that uh, oil can so we will see how the, the uh, I will show you how the the glasses will be washed after wash how it will be and all the cutlery I have kept here This is the dishwasher um, uh, detergent I am using, IFV uh, essentials. Yeah, it is good as per my um, experience. Uh, and I will show you how to, how to put, it, put the detergent. Actually, this much is enough. That's if we are good to start the dishwasher. One more point I would like to tell before we start the dishwasher, we just have to roll this fan and make sure that nothing is uh, stopping them. If the fans are freely moving, then we are good to uh, start the dishwasher. Otherwise, what will happen is um, if I uh, keep the very big thalis and if this fan is uh, uh, strong, you will not get any error or the dishwasher will not stop, but this fan will not, will not run properly. So, the wash um, utensils will not be cleaned properly in that wash. I will start the dishwasher. Um, as I have put all the mixed items, mixed utensils, I will go with the last options and uh, it will take uh, exactly 3 hours. As you can see, uh, this is how the dish will, um, dishes were uh, washed. See how neatly it is washed. These are the rice vessels basically for me. So you can see how neatly it is washed. And all the big thalis as well. Uh, actually these plates are uh, uh, what? Um, ghee plates basically. My kids has eaten um, uh, rice, uh, ghee rice. So you can see there is no ghee or nothing, grease or nothing. And this is a milk vessel. I have, though I have pre-washed little, but you can see how it is washed. All these are milk and uh, tea cups. You remember this uh, uh, this glass, how it was, but you can see how it is now after wash. So this one uh, I didn't um, put it upside down, so there are, there is water. It's like this. So always. Always, you have to make sure that you are keeping the vessels like this. Otherwise, well, water will be stagnant. And this is cutlery. That's it.